Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys a brand new product that I have received from Linksys Group and it is their latest Linksys WRT 3200 ACM Mio MIMO Gigabit Router. So in this video we will be unboxing and also going to show you what this can do for you and a basic setup. I have to let you know that this is not just any router, it is working flawlessly. If you want to use this for your streaming multimedia products, it works beautifully. Again, this router is very nicely designed. You can see that the box itself, how they put it together, it's very colorful and actually has everything around it. So you can see all the information that has been put together on the box itself. Once you open the box, you can see that it is so nicely packaged. Everything is set up properly. It does not move. And once you take it out, you can see that you have the WRT3200 ACM unit itself. It's a really big unit and also comes with a four antennas, which will be connecting in a few minutes. Also comes with a power adapter, which is 12 volt and it is three amps. It's created for Canada and United States. Also comes with a user manual or quick setup guide and also a CD that has the documentation for this router. All right, so you can see the unit itself has big markings on top that says Linksys and then also have a lot of ventilation holes on top, which makes sense. The router itself runs on 1.8 gigahertz dual core ARM based CPU processor and comes with the 256 megabyte flash memory and it runs on 512 DDR3 RAM. This router software is open source which makes it ready and customizable so you can run your OpenWRT or DDWRT on this router. So this way you can take advantage of it more. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is let's get around this unit itself. So from the front, you can see on the left hand side, it has the nice marking. It does indicate that this is Linksys WRT 3200 ACM model number. And then right beside it, you have the LED section, which has the power and then you have the internet connection if you are connected or not. Right beside it, you have the 2.4 gigahertz LED indicator. Then you have the 5 gigahertz indicator. Right beside that, you do have the SATA indicator that if you have connect anything to it beside that you do have the USB 1 and USB 2 indicators there too and right beside that if you have connected any LAN connection to this it will tell you in a front it's very nicely created and once we go to the right side of it as just one connection for the antenna going to the back part of this from the left hand side you do have a connection for the antenna right beside that you have WPS button Right beside that, you have four one gigabit LAN connection. It is backward compatible to go to 10100. Right beside that, you have the yellow marked internet connection. That is the input from your modem. Right beside that, you have the one USB 3.0 port. Right beside that, you have the eSATA port, which can be changeable to a USB 2.0 port. So that will be USB 1, which is marked right underneath of it. And then you have the USB 2 which is the USB 3.0. Right beside that, you have the reset button, which is very nicely done. It is not inside and you do not have to struggle if you need to reset your router. Right beside that, you have the DC connection or the power connection, which is 12 volt. And then right beside that, you have the turn on and off switch. Right beside that, antenna connection. If you flip it on the left hand side, you have nothing but just the antenna connection again. Make sure that you place this on a flat surface. All right, so enough said about this. Let's just get this connected. Before we do that, do not forget, we need to connect the antennas to it. So it's very nice and very durable antennas that comes with it. And they have made this detachable for a reason, just in case if you do want to get a bigger antenna, you can do that too. And that's why these are detachable. By the way, the antennas that we are connecting right now, as you can see, are 360 turnable, which you cannot break. Again, remember there are some tendency to it, but make sure that you flip it on the other side and it should 
would work for you perfectly. That's not the only thing. With this, there was a little user guide that came with it. On the user guide, the first step will tell you to make sure that you hook up the antenna and also you're going to connect the power. Once you connect that, make sure that you connect your internet connection, which is the yellow marker, on it too. That's the step number two. If you do not do it, you cannot set up your router at all. This router is very smart. Number three is connecting it to the Wi-Fi. So right now we're just performing. Now let's just get this connected wirelessly to the router so that way we can set up our router. Grab your mouse, go on the bottom where the router connection will be, mine is right here, click on it, and then connect the Linksys name. So once you click on it, it will tell you to connect, and then it will ask you for the password. So that's what we're waiting for at the moment. And there you go. So in your user guide, number three has the SSID, which we just connected, and also has your Wi-Fi password. So we need to type that. Once you type your password, press OK. Takes a couple of seconds for it to connect. Once you are connected, it will ask you if this is a public or this is home network. That's the one we're going to select and we're going to say close. So now you're connected to your router. We're not done yet. So we will go to the next step. And now we're just going through to set up our router for a very first time. Now, before we get into that, I just want to indicate to you guys that you can set the router up via your Android phones or iPhone. There is an app that is created by Linksys for these type of matters, but we are going to use our Windows 7 PC in order to set this up. All right, so without wasting your time, let's just launch the browser first. So there you go. As soon as you enter the link, which is http colon forward slash forward slash Linksys smartwifi.com, this is the page you should come into. And in this, we have to click on I have read and accept the license and terms and also comes underneath of it says I want to contribute improvement of, and to router by reporting the router errors and diagnostic to Linksys. I'll leave both of them under check mark for this review. We will click next. Now is the time that it will go up on the internet and it will check to see if there is any updates available. This part will take up to five minutes. Again, not to bore you guys, we will fast forward some of these scenes. Since the router is up to date, it will indicate to you if there is any updates available in the future that it should just update it by itself. We're going to leave the check mark there so that way it gets an update and we will click next. Now comes the part that we have to set up our Wi-Fi SSIDs. So in this case, we will take this out and we're going to name our usual names, which is Exitex in capitals underscore 2.4 for our 2.4 and going over here and right now we cannot change this part but for the password we're just going to create something very easy for now and then we will change it later and there you go we will click next so once this part is done, we have to reconnect our Wi-Fi to that same SSID that we just set up. All right, so let's do that right now. And there you go. As soon as that happens, now comes the your router administration password. So for this part, we do have to enter something good. And this way, nobody else should know this password. So we will be blurred out. Once you totally set it up, this is what you're going to see on your screen, which will show you your 2.4 gigahertz SSID, which is right here, and your password, and also for your 5 gigahertz SSID, which is going to show up right underneath of it. Remember that this password I've set up for this, don't write a very simple password, something that you would remember, but nobody else can guess it outside of your house. So that should be it. Your router password is also going to show underneath and also router hint. Mine will be blurred out. So then once that part is done, click on next. And now it will tell you if you want to get access to your home network when you're away. We will leave this alone and we will click next so we can set that up later. And now comes the part that you have to create an account. And there you go. Now you're going to log in to your Linksys setup. Now remember that there are some other little things that you have to set up under this, just like your guest access. We're going to leave it alone for now. We have to set this up after the video, but we do not need the guest access to be on so we can turn it off. This way we don't have any guests to 
log in to this router. Again, if you want to set it up, by all means you can. It will give you a really nice looking page while you're trying to use the guest access and it will ask you to enter the password and you can set up anything. In this case, you can see right here, it says mustard 74. That was the password was set up for guest by Linksys itself. This is a perfect router for anybody that have a little bigger home and they are, they do want to customize the router into maximum limits. Now here's the best part about this router. The way that this router is set up has tri-band. That means you're going to get access of two 5 gigahertz and one 2.4 gigahertz. So the number they have indicated for us, which is 3200, is not 3200 megabits per second. It has been divided into three different places. So according to the markings, even on the box itself, which is very mandatory to see those, is the 802.11 AC and G, which is running up to 54 megabytes, and then the rest, which is 2.4 gigahertz, runs under 600 megabits per second. The first 5 gigahertz will receive 1300 megabits per second. Second one will receive 1300 megabits per second connection. Again, it does not really mean that if you do have the latest and greatest iPhone 7, you're going to get the maximum speed. So in this case, this router will take you that far so that we can connect with up to three connections at the same time. Again, older routers did allow you to connect up to three connections, but it always, always made the data to transfer the data packages from your router to those devices had a step-by-step -step setup. So that means as computer number one would have get certain amount of data, computer number two would have get the next data, computer number three, the next data. We never seen any kind of slowness to that. This one will get you a dedicated connection. So this way, all three of them without any hesitation or without any waiting of let's get the first one connected and then the second and then the third one. This way, all three of them will be talking separately. So that way, the data packs that are going through or data packs packages that are going to, you would not see any kind of slowness to it. That's why they have broadened the Mio Mimo is basically means that basically it means as multiple users, multiple inputs and multiple outputs. So this way you won't get any slowness through this. So we will be putting some little information on our own website for you, but we will be also providing a perfect and official link from Linksys about this router. We are also going to bring you a link where you can order this router from. It is a phenomenal router. At the meantime, I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment in the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is exitex.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Vine, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.